Hi guys, so in a previous video I shot some groups uh, with hunting pellets and different slugs to see which ones group the best uh, in my gauntlet. In this video I'm going to sh be shooting uh, the ones that group the best uh, into some ballistics gel to see uh, how they deform and what the terminal performance of them are. So I hope you enjoy this video, uh, hopefully we learn something uh, interesting. So first it's the 18 grain. Then it is the JSB Hades. Then we have the Polymax Short. Then it's the uh, Nielsen Specialty Ammo 21 grain 0.218. Then we have the T2 slug 23 grains. Then we have the G3 slug. Then we have the 21 grain H&N. The 25 grain H&N. And then the 30 grain H&N. Okay guys, so I shot um, all of the slugs that and uh, pellets that grouped well. So I will um, cut them out of the ballistics gel and see how they expanded. Um, I saw a lot of them shot almost at the same place. But uh, here we can, yeah, can you see? Uh, let's just change the camera. Okay guys, um, well I can already see there's a slug that hit um, and it, uh, it spun around and yeah, um, I'll open this up and, and look at it. It looks like most of the slugs uh, turned around when they were shot. That's pretty interesting. Okay guys, so if we use the 18.13 grain JSB as a reference, we can see that all of the um, hunting pellets and slugs uh, really expanded and um, did a pretty good job at uh, dumping uh, the energy. I sorted this table according to the grouping size because I want the most accurate um, hunting projectile. Uh, as you can see, the Nielsen's was the best. Then the T3 slugs, the JSB pellets, the H&N 25 grains, the Hades, the G2 slugs, the H&N slugs, the Polymax shorts, and the H&N uh, 30 grains. I will not just be looking at the grouping size, but also um, how much energy the projectile dumped. This you can see by how much the pellet or slug uh, deformed. The JSB pretty much stayed the same, it didn't deform much. The Polymag is the one that deformed the most, but if we look at the, um, at the grouping, it's not that accurate. The Hades was second best at expansion, and also the grouping wasn't too bad. Anything around 20 millimeters is acceptable, That's because headshot. that is still a headshot on a pigeon on 30 meters. But with a hunting projectile, you can still get a good body vital shot and take your quarry down. So headshots aren't necessarily um, necessary. So if we look at the grouping and look at the head size difference, then we will see that the T3 slugs are basically the best slug for the gauntlet uh, that I have at the moment. Unfortunately, it's quite an expensive slug. 
Unfortunately, the Nielsen's that are the most accurate, but also the most expensive, um, didn't deform much. Uh, honestly, I can't believe um, that they didn't uh, mushroom any any better because um, they over they usually have a good um, reputation for mushrooming. So the best slug will be the T3 slug, but I think the 25 grain H and N is also a pretty good option uh, it just shoots a bit slower um, almost 100 feet per second slower than the t3 slugs but they are 21 grain i think i will do one more test to see which slug i will eventually choose um, i will shoot at 100 meters and see uh, what the drop and everything is so that i can still shoot up to 100 meters uh, with the hold on my scope I hope you learned something and that you saw that it's not just as easy as asking someone on a group what pellet will work in your gun. Uh, you have to test and you have to see what works. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and he's gone.